So you've just won your first game. You've had your first proper batting performance. It's on the back of an opener who smashes 65 of 28, the fastest 50 of the competition, Sophia Dunkley. Yeah. What do you do? You drop her. <laughs> How does this make sense, Sud? It's a new competition and this is one where you kind of uh, what, make statements, make patterns. And I think Gujarat Giants, one of the two new sides who don't have a side in the men's IPL, have followed UP Warriors. What did UP Warriors do? They dropped Grace Harris after a stupendous performance. I think Gujarat Giants felt ah, they are successful, let's follow their pattern and they left out Sophia Dunkley for Laura Wolf. Abhimanyu, did you remotely think that this could be the case at toss, uh, Dunkley going out for Wolf? No, not at all. Like, I mean, she, like he said, like, it was the first time they batted well, properly, put up 200 and D Dunkley was just excellent in that game. Like, and then suddenly to drop her for Volvart and Volvart is not somebody who was originally in the squad. If, if it was somebody like if it was if you, if it was somebody who was part of your plans and you know you she's come back from injury so you, she was originally part of your eleven. I still understand, but and I I still get it. You've got Laura Volvart all that class. You've got her to replace who was your captain in Beth Mooney. Yeah. But I look at that lineup and I do see other players who could go out. And I don't mean other players. It's only one. Annabelle Sutherland, who did anyway uh, miss this 11 for Georgie Wareham, you could easily have got, and I'm not saying this in hindsight, you two are proof that I said this right <laughs> at the toss. You could have just got Wolfart yes. in for yeah. Annabelle Sutherland. True, and I think uh, Laura Wolfart had tend has tendency to play her best T20 cricket in the middle order. And I'm a staunch uh, believer of the fact that it's good for a T20 side if she plays in the middle order. So, to re replace an opener who really got, off to a, got you off to a flyer with someone who's, who has a tendency to take her time, then explode, I think that's where they missed a trick. Yes, Annabel Sutherland could have gone off, but then perhaps a question of who who's that extra bowler that Gujarat Giants uh, would have brought in. Which is exactly mm. where I have a problem with this whole thing. You've replaced Sutherland with Wareham, and so you're clearly saying that we need enough bowlers. But even if we make that change, we get Wolfart in place of Sutherland, you still have five out-and-out bowlers. Yes. Uh, with Ashley Gardner, obviously, and the four full-fledged bowlers. And they haven't used Dial and Hemalata's and bowling. Exactly. Yeah. They have three different players who do bowl a bit. In yeah. Harleen Deol, in Dial and Hemalata, in even Sophia Dunkley, for that matter. So, you do have bowling backups. I but is it a tournament it? that where we aren't seeing enough of wrist spinners? Devika Vaidya is there in the side, but she isn't bowled much. She's now an opener. <laughs> Indeed. And then we saw the other day, Poonam Khemnar was picked for her leg spin. Wasn't played. Harleen Deol has hardly bowled. I mean, some decisions that probably it's taking a tough time to understand those. Yeah, and like you rightly pointed out, these are the two new teams. Most of the IPL franchises have learned that you don't chop and change <laughs> all the time. I will not include RCB in this. Yash, you will not bring up RCB <laughs> in this. But no, we have to talk about <laughs> Delhi. What a sensational start that was from Marizan Cup. Oh, it, absolutely. Like, it was, as you said, capital damage ah. inflicted <laughs> on um, the Giants. Like... A sensational right from the start, that beautiful Yorker to get that first wicket of Meghna and then again castling Boulevard and I, then Harleen Deol was the only one who was looking good for Giants and Cap came and got her too and it's you also know? a day, uh, exactly. there's a background to that performance. It was a day where there were cryptic yes. social media posts. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't know for sure if it's a retirement. It's, uh, it's likely that Dane van Niekerk has retired from international cricket as we speak. But on that day, for yes. Marizan Cup to put up her yes. best T20 foot forward, because she's done her, her bit with the bat earlier, yes. was the bowler in Marizan Cup who was a bit missing in action and today she's uh, yeah. fulfilled the criteria with a 5 foot. And with the yeah, and sorry, and with Vanyaka in the stand. In the stand. But what I liked, Yash, about that performance was the uh, that she was getting the ball to move in mm. with a change of pace. Mm. I mean, you s associate Marizan Cup's bowling for swing and especially with the new ball. But I liked how she used her fingers to just get that nip back in, especially to get, uh, I think, Harley in the old dismissal. Yeah, yeah. So, so top-notch stuff. But then there was sensational <laughs> stuff in the second innings. All of us owe oh, a thank you to Shafali Varma for <laughs> wrapping this Saturday evening early. <laughs> what batting? Yeah. Indeed, Shafali's batting is 
probably for everybody to know what she can do on her day. It's just the bit of consistency that we always talk about. But what I liked about Shafali was I think the confidence on the field before she kind of walked out to bed on the field. I, I remember genuinely one moment, I can't recall the over, but she was disappointed to probably not try and pull off a diving catch. I mean, Shafali Verma on the field is still a work in progress. Something that I've noticed right from the first game that Delhi have played in this uh, WPL, like her fielding has gone up leaps, leaps and bounds. And if not even execution, definitely in terms of effort. Like, you know, she's... So, so that partnership's obviously working two ways. Meg yes. Lanning is getting her to do things on the field. And uh, when they're batting together, Shafali Verma is dominating. That's also quite a sight to see. But more than anything else, Shafali Verma... What a social servant. This game is at D.Y. Partner. People have to travel a lot. Yeah, Saturday night, all those families <laughs> who made that trek, they get to get back home at a more civil hour, <laughs> all thanks to Shafali. And oh, we yeah. still have to come up with a name for this partnership. I mean, <laughs> that's still that's going on. Comment section, yeah. please, everyone. <laughs>